Welcome back to another settling in vlog. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to another settling in vlog. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Jenna. 25, I'm moving in with my boyfriend and I've been vlogging this whole entire moving in process. Settling in, buying new furniture, trying to make this entire place feel like home as quickly as possible. And I also work in corporate. I work internally at a CPA accounting advisory firm. Oh, and we live in Arlington, Virginia. But welcome to the vlog. Today is Tuesday and I worked from home yesterday too. I don't know why I didn't vlog. I feel like honestly, you guys, I've just been vlogging like crazy because moving i'm just like vlogging everywhere and i wanted to start the vlog because i feel like we're about to have a lot of apartment updates settling in and feeling like as complete as possible in this vlog this week so thomas my boyfriend is currently on his way back from ikea he picked up the second shoe rack that we have which i'll show you guys but we got the stall from ikea and eventually we'll diy it and everything but we want to get two side by side next to each other for our entryway we also have the rest of my dining chairs that are coming today and i think we might get something for our bedroom this week too so just lots of apartment updates and stuff let me show you guys how the place is looking as of right now how about we start in the little nook area eventually i want to get a larger mirror but for now this is totally fine this is a new piece that i got from a flea market that i was at this is from my friend aesthetics frames or jackie on instagram if you guys have been following me for a while then you know i used to have this huge monstera plant at my old apartment and it's like too big for an apartment now i took it back home this weekend and now i got this to like pay homage to my beautiful monstera because you guys loved it and i loved it too but this is all that i can be in the new space here's our little nook area we have like a coffee area and then my jewelry on the other side and it's been honestly really nice like getting ready in this space in the morning which is why i want eventually a bigger mirror but this media console is from my bedroom last year and it fits perfectly in this area it is just crazy so here we have our little nook we have a nice bar cart from wayfair we have our dining setup this is kind of like our newest addition to the apartment it's so beautiful i love it so much we're gonna get the same two dining chairs this week and then this will be done oh my god it's so pretty i have this old tray from amazon that i got last year and i just put a candle that i got at the same flea market and some coasters and i just think it looks so nice i love it and then here is our working area thomas and i have a matching flexi spot standing desks and we have very similar chairs they're not the exact same chair but they're pretty similar and i just think that this looks so nice as like a side-by-side -side working station i was a little nervous at first that it would feel too cluttered but there's still this huge space in the middle so i'm just really happy with it eventually we'll get like a behind the couch console table but we're not really in a big rush for that i'm just glad that there's like enough space to add one there and then we have our living area with our couch and so here's how the apartment looks from like the other side of the living space we have our nice mirror from ikea their besta tv stand from ikea lamp is from amazon i will link everything possible below for you guys just so you guys can know where everything is from our bar stools are from wayfair too i love them because they go with like the whole blue theme of the backsplash and everything and yeah here's our kitchen laundry area and then here's how the bedroom is looking currently we have our wardrobe from ikea and then we have our nightstands we're still gonna put my sconces if you guys have been watching from last year those are my sconces and we're gonna put them up in the bedroom but we're gonna wait until we get one more piece of furniture this is my old mirror from my old apartment and it's in the bedroom right now just because this is like kind of the only place that makes sense currently but we want to get a clothing rack and a little bit more storage and it's either gonna go right here but Thomas and I were talking this morning and he thinks it would look better in the corner next to the wardrobe. So I bought it this morning. It should be arriving, I think, Thursday or Friday. So I will definitely have that in this vlog. And you guys will probably have to tell us and help us out on like which way it looks better because we were arguing about it this morning. I genuinely think it looks better in this entryway. But Thomas thinks it will block the window and he thinks it would just look better overall to have like a wardrobe and rack next to each other in the bedroom. So yeah, you guys will see later on, but that's kind of what's going on. We're gonna wait until the clothing rack is here to get the sconces up just because I feel like if we do put it there, 
then we're gonna have to shift over the bed and the nightstands just cause like there's so much space here. So we're just gonna wait because the sconces have to be centered with the nightstands. So long winded story of what's going on with the bedroom. Here's the entryway right now. This is what the stall looks like. And it's really nice because it holds two pairs of shoes in each little cabinet. So we got a second one so that we can have more shoes. And then this will be a nice little like entryway area. I have no idea how I wanna decorate the wall area. I'm thinking like maybe we'll keep the frame here and then add maybe like a second frame, lean it, have a mirror. I don't really know, but that's what Thomas is currently picking up right now. And then we have this entry, I think this is called a tree, but here we just have like our daily shoes, the ones that we wear like actually on the daily that we don't need to put in the shoe rack. We have them here just so it's easy to pick up. We have a little tray and then we have our daily bags. And then lastly, here's how the bathroom is looking. Nothing really has changed since. I think that's everything. I've been talking way too long for the beginning of this vlog, but I just wanted to start this off while Thomas isn't here so that I can like speak freely because now we live together and it's not just me making noise in this apartment. So I will see you guys when Thomas comes home and he starts building the stuff, but welcome to another settling in vlog. Hello. Yay. We like to call him Tom the Builder here. Sadness. When you need me, use me just to lose me. Day. Today was day two of 45 day challenge and it was upper body and then I walked on incline for 30 minutes and now I'm having a protein shake. I need to go back and look at the footage of when Thomas finished the shoe stand. Okay, ooh, whoa. Oh my gosh, it's so big now. Oh my gosh, I freaking love it. Comment below you guys and tell me what you're thinking. I'm thinking like maybe we could do like a leaning frame gallery with a mirror or I don't know what, but now we have like all this space. We could put like a vase in the beginning, something I have literally no idea. I'm actually really excited because this feels like a full entryway now with like all the shoe cabinets. And then eventually I want to DIY to like get rid of this cause I just feel like it's ugly, but ooh, I think it's really, really pretty. Okay guys, Thomas and I are going to a Nats game today. Yep, I'm a baseball girl now. Actually, it's like a running joke in my company that everyone knows I like really don't care about baseball or sports. I care about some sports, just not baseball. But my company was really nice to gift me like two free tickets tonight. And then we have a whole DC office that's going tomorrow. That's just like a summer event that we do. But I don't even know why. I think I just had done like a recruiting event or something. I don't really know. But for some reason, my company just wanted to give me tickets tonight too. So that's what we're doing today. Here's my outfit i'm wearing this i feel like i never show you guys this but i actually got this for myself as a gift as a, like a reward when i finished my internship back in college at the company that i currently work for because i interned there so this was like the gift that i got myself with my last paycheck and i love it just because like it always reminds me of that time it's the mark jacobs snapshot crossbody and i love it and then i'm wearing this bodysuit from abercrombie and i'm wearing my long top shop shorts i have my chapstick that i'm gonna bring this is the summer fridays lip balm and then i also have my sunglasses I never wear sunglasses or show them to you guys but i've been trying to wear them more this summer and i really like them as like a fun accessory these are the desi sunglasses and i forget what these are called these are just the cool ones thomas got these for me but we're gonna go so i will see you guys later i will vlog a little bit on my phone of just like what the game looks like and stuff but i will see you guys tonight when we come back because the dining chairs have arrived and we're gonna try to build them tonight so i'll see you guys tonight Today is it Wednesday? It's not even freaking Thursday. I've gotten spoiled with my four day weeks. <laughs> I am in a ponytail today. I have a little bow in my hair too. I feel like this feels very like weird for me. Hair is disgusting. And this is like what you do with dirty hair. You just put it up, accessorize it. 
Clearly, Thomas and I did not build the chairs. We got back from the baseball game. It was a lot more fun than we expected. And it was just like fun being there. It was Thomas's first baseball game ever. And it was just really fun. So we got back at like 10. It took forever to get to the game too because the Metro was delayed for like 30 minutes. So we were just standing around. We didn't come home until like 10 and then we just crashed. We didn't build and now Thomas is out because today's is orientation for school and I have work today. I'm working from home, obviously, because I have another Nats game to go to at the end of the day today. That's like a DC office event for our company. So lots of baseball sporty things, but in terms of settling in and apartment updates and stuff, the dining chairs, I think probably will be done either like tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. I spent like all morning finishing my video. I am like almost done the video. I think I have like 10 percent left which is good because now i can like enjoy the baseball game tonight and not feel like stressed about my youtube deadlines or anything but it's also like a really really long video so i did this to myself it's like the week in my life moving i think i'm gonna work through lunch and then take a little break before i go to the baseball game to walk and just like clear my mind if i feel like stressed or something so that's the plan today let's make the most of today apartment things later but this place honestly feels like pretty done which is why i'm not in a complete rush to finish everything the next thing i'm looking for is a console table or like something to go behind the couch i was talking to rachel and she doesn't think i need something but i don't know we'll see well i'm gonna start work get on with my day but i just want to say good morning and have a good day Hi guys, it's been a little bit since we've talked. Okay, it's like nighttime now. But to be fair, you guys, I like actually got off work early because I went to another Nats game and I didn't end up filming anything. I don't know why. I think just because I went to a Nats game yesterday and I was literally just going to show you guys the same things. But no apartment updates today. It was just one of those like really busy days. We still have the dining chairs that are there. Like I'm looking at them in the corner and I think I'll probably make them tomorrow. Thomas is busy with orientation for school and stuff. So I think I will build the chairs tomorrow. Maybe I don't have anything after work tomorrow. I just have therapy and then no plans and no plans Friday. And yeah, so I'm going to do my, my due diligence and like build something in this place because <laughs> Thomas has been building everything and I just like assist him, but I just cannot wait to have like a full dining set. Oh my God, it's just going to look so good. I actually cannot wait. And then I feel like the place will feel like pretty complete once we get that, but I just could not do it today. Okay. And I'm actually going into the office tomorrow because it is stewardship week for my company. So I won't go into like too many details because I know you guys don't really care. This is not a work vlog, but basically I'm going into the office so that I can do some volunteer work in the office at the end of the day for stewardship week. So I'll be back after therapy. And you guys look at what I got. I got a Nats shirt. We had a ticket voucher for like 50 bucks and I had some left over. So I got this on a discount because these things are like pretty expensive, but I like this. Do you guys like this? I'm a sports girl now. <laughs> I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning before work just really quickly, but I promise we'll do more apartment updates and settling in things tomorrow. I like need to build those chairs because I can't see the box anymore. Like I'm like an immediate mover. I need it to feel done immediately and I need the boxes to be gone immediately. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully the clothing rack is in too. And I think that's kind of the only thing we're waiting on. Once we do the clothing rack, then we can put up the sconces. So I feel like the bedroom will feel a lot more complete after by the end of this vlog. So yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. Good morning, guys. I just took my greens. I didn't show you guys, but I swear I took them. And then here's my outfit today. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly before I go to work. All I did was put my hair in a claw clip, like ponytail. And I've actually never done this. At least for like an entire look, I usually just kind of like throw it up if I have a claw clip, but I actually really like how this looks. And then my workday outfit, this top is from Aritzia. I got this on sale. I forget what it's called, but I'll link it for you guys. I really love it because it's very thick. And then I'm wearing, as you guys know, my favorite Abercrombie jeans. So that's my outfit today. I'm headed off to work. I was feeling weirdly hungry today, this morning, which I usually don't feel this hungry, but I just made it like a peanut butter jelly toast. Now I'm headed off to work to the office. I'll see you guys at the end of the day. I'm going to gym and I'm going to build those two chairs. I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. But I finished my video pretty late last night. I think I finished it at like 1230. It's around 810. I'm going to work and yeah, have a good day.
popular this channel. Hi guys, it's been a couple of hours since I last saw you guys. I finished my work day, I had therapy, and then I came home, ate dinner, went to the gym, and I didn't vlog any of that, I don't know why, but yeah, that's what I did. Therapy was really good today. We had a lot of like, I really like taking notes as I have my therapy sessions. I feel like my therapist gives me a lot of things to like keep in mind in the next week or things to practice or things to try that if I don't write it down or if I don't like put it on my phone, I'll just forget about it. So, so we're having a video session and instead of like writing notes on my phone during the video session, I just wrote them down. And I feel like I had like a lot of self-realizations today. And I went to the gym after I came home. So I just came back from that. I'm like sweaty and gross, but I'm gonna build at least one of these chairs right now before I take a shower just cause like, why not? I really want to get this done today. It's been sitting in this apartment for like two days now and that's too long for me. So let's build these chairs and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Hoping you love me once again. I know I'm selfish a little bit. We're having a little bit of trouble with the third chair. There's like one thing, one of the screws just doesn't go in perfectly, but you can't really tell. We're just gonna fix it another time. Almost there. Okay, I'm gonna do the last one off camera with you guys, but I'll show you guys tomorrow morning because the clothing rack also arrived, but we're definitely not doing it tonight. We're like tired. We're just gonna do the last chair. I'll show you guys in the morning and the daylight and everything, and, and then we'll continue on then. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning, but we're almost done. Good night. Happy Friday. I'm tired, <laughs> but good morning. We finished the chairs and I'm sure you guys can see in the background, but let me just show you how the finished dining table looks. Oh my God. Here's our morning sun slash view. And then, oh my God, I love it so much. It's so pretty. I love these chairs, you guys. I'm like actually obsessed with them. I'm watching some Julia Christine this morning. She is just like my happy place on YouTube and she's so sweet. I just love her whole vibe. She just puts me in like a really good mood. And here's a view of the dining table from the other side. I'm like standing by the couch right now. Absolutely stunning. Chef's kiss, complete beauty. I love it. It's actually crazy that I have all of these different places in my apartment to like sit and talk to you guys. Cause before it was literally just my couch or like on the counter, but now I can like actually sit at a freaking dining table and talk to you guys. That's crazy. These dining chairs are from Target. I don't think I've told you guys yet on this vlog even. I will link them for you guys. They are, I'm telling you, they look so much more expensive than they were. They were under a hundred dollars for each. And if you guys know, like that's pretty good for dining chairs. Most dining chairs start at least at like what feels like 130 or something. And the fact that these dining chairs were 170 for two is crazy. <laughs> Thomas already left for orientation today. He had like three days of orientation and today's his last day. He should be getting his like class schedule today. So I'm really excited because I really wanna be good about like knowing my boyfriend's schedule. And now that I'm living with him, it's not just like me doing whatever I want here, but it's both of us. That's something that I've been talking a lot with my therapist about like, I thought that I was ready to live with him. He basically stayed with me all the time at my old apartment, but instead of him staying with me and kind of like joining me in my life, living together really feels like I need to harmonize the way that we both live and his schedule is just important as my schedule and now we're really trying to blend 
and balance both of ours. So it's like really interesting, honestly. I thought that I was totally prepared for like what living together would mean for us as a couple because we've been dating for so long. We've been dating for eight years, if you guys don't know. I am so thankful to have my therapist, just having somebody to talk to about whatever's on my mind. The clothing rack is here. So I'm gonna make that today, probably like when I finish work. I finish work at three today, which is really good. So as long as I have a productive day, then we'll be all good to go. Yeah, I just wanted to sit and say good morning to you guys. And thank you for being patient with me on this vlog. I feel like I started this vlog saying this was like a settling in apartment updates vlog and all I've done are these chairs. Okay, well, I love you guys. Have a good day. I'll talk to you at the end of the day. And yeah, happy Friday. Happy end of the day. Happy weekend. Oh my God, I didn't even realize it was weekend, but I'm waiting for Thomas to come back because he went to go pick up like some medication or something at CVS. And I made these curried beef chickpea lettuce wraps from HelloFresh. And as I'm waiting for him, I'm just gonna have like a small one with you guys because I'm so freaking hungry and this looks so good. Like, okay. It looks so good. We still need to build everything also. I just like, I had to work and then I wanted to go to the gym and then I had to shower and now we're here. But at least the dining table's done. We'll eat together with Thomas, but we're gonna have this together, just you and me. And let's start our weekend off. Cheers, happy weekend. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I've gotta say, Hello Fresh. The ones that I like the most are the lettuce wraps just because I feel like they're easy, they're quick, they taste really, really good. That and the pastas, those are always really good. But anything with like the chickpeas, I always like love those the most. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I'm gonna wait for Thomas to come back. He should be back like any minute. And then we'll eat together at the dining table and I'll be so happy. Okay. <laughs> Dinner time at our dining table. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would say the apartment is like, like 98% done. Yeah, it's mostly finished. Yeah. We just need to put up the clothing rack, put up the neon sign. I feel a lot more settled. Mm -hmm. And you're about to start school, so. I just wanted the apartment, you guys, to feel like as done as possible by the time that Tom started school, so that like, it wasn't like an added stress to the already added stress, you know? Happy Saturday. We did not do anything after dinner last night. I went to bed, like I'm not even kidding. I think like two hours after we ate dinner, I was so tired. I went to bed at like 10. I got over eight hours of sleep. It was just like really, really nice. But good morning, let's build. I built everything basically in my last apartment by myself, including my couch, that media console, just a lot of things I built alone last year. So this year I was like, Thomas can build most of it this year, but. I'm gonna try to do my due diligence and build this thing right now. So let's do it. Thomas wants to put it right there. Okay, or it goes right here. Personally, I think it looks better right here because this thing is so much smaller than that. It just looks like weird next to each other. So I vote here. <laughs> I have a feeling Thomas will like it there. No promises though. He was so sure that it would look good like this. I disagree. <laughs> I think it goes here. Okay guys, I'm off to Thomas's white coat ceremony. Here's my final outfit. I think this is a very cute outfit, you guys. I curled my hair using my Bondi Boost curling iron just because I didn't feel like 
rewetting it using the dyson and everything and i honestly had to get ready like pretty quickly and i love how the curls look my top is from aritzia it's like the sculpt knit high neck crop top and then i'm wearing my princess polly archer pants in green and then these shoes are from bp nordstrom and then my bag is from c by chloe and that's our finished look i think i look very cute but i just cleaned up the whole entire place too because thomas's family is coming over and yeah i just wanted to show you guys my finished outfit i think this is very cute last time i'm gonna say it <laughs> guys happy sunday i'm sorry you guys i like literally have not spoken to you guys at all since okay look it's been a crazy weekend okay tom's had his white coat ceremony yesterday and it was just so amazing i started crying just because i feel like i was witnessing thomas start like this such a big part of his life and like putting on the white coat and like the speeches like it was all just a lot of emotions and i'm already as you guys know, such an emotional person. It was just a lot. And then me and his family went out to dinner afterwards. We went to Peking Gourmet Inn in Virginia. If you guys know in the DMV area, it is the best Peking duck ever. So yeah, and then we just chilled the rest of the day. I was stressing about my video, so I was editing a little bit. And now it's Sunday. <laughs> I got some things from Thrive Market and it's been a while, but I love Thrive so much on restocking on all of the groceries and like pantry items that I love. So first we have this truff pasta sauce. I know I have pasta sauce, but this was like an extra Thrive Cash back. This literally smells like truffle. It's so good. I restocked on some jam because I'm running out of the Thrive Market one that I have now. This is the wild blueberry. The one that I have is like the super fruits or something. So I just wanted to try something different. I restocked on some hemp seeds. I ran out of that. I restocked on some collagen. I like to get the one from Primal Kitchen because it's dairy free, especially for supplements. Thrive Market's just really good because you get like an extra discount. This is my favorite granola that I love in my yogurt. It's the Purely Elizabeth Keto Granola Clusters Grain Free Vanilla Almond Butter. This stuff literally is so good. It tastes amazing and I love it in my yogurt bowls. And then they were also doing a free gift with like your purchase. So I got plant based noodles. And I don't know why there's water in it, but I got some sort of plant-based noodles. That's my Thrive Market haul. Look at these beautiful flowers from Thomas's White Coat ceremony. They're so pretty. And look, blue. Also, we picked up the last thing from my apartment. This is the Miss You Already neon sign. That was a gift from Thomas, my friend Ricky, and my friend Selena. So it's going to go right here, but we're going to do that later. Probably tomorrow, honestly, just because like I need to finish my video. I need to just like get situated with myself. And I also need to turn in my keys at my old place. The apartment's been empty for a little bit. I literally just had to get like this neon sign. But my old apartment is just like totally empty. All I have to do is turn in the keys tomorrow. And then we'll say goodbye to the old apartment. I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. I need to like get going with like everything I need to do because this weekend has just like flown by with all of the events and just like everything. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, but I'm sorry. This is a short day clip. I put away my groceries and then I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Monday. It is like the middle of the work day. No, it's not. It's the end. It's the end of the day. I wanted to surprise Thomas and get him some cupcakes. He thought I got him crumble cookies, but no, I got him sprinkles for his first day of classes. And these are the flavors that I got. I got strawberry, lemon, blueberry, salted caramel, and it looks so good. carrot and carrot. I'll buy one. Yeah, try one. Which one do you want to try first? That's carrot. Good? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I have a bite too. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's good. Well, you guys, I haven't made any apartment updates since I last talked to you guys yesterday. Um, after work, I'm gonna go to the gym and then we'll finish this other stuff with like the neon light and sconces, but not now. You can't do it right away after work, you know?
You guys, having dinner at a dining table, looking at the sunset is literally so game changing. This looks so good. These are the HelloFresh chickpea fritters and it comes with a pita that we toasted, a Greek salad, and this looks really, really good. Don't you think so? Looks delicious. Looks delicious. <laughs> we can just make a small little hole with the nail, right? Yeah, right, right. It's gonna go, I hope it's like long enough. Yes, it's perfect, it's perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like little holes with the nail and then take it off and then Thomas will. Okay, oh, I think it looks so nice. Uh, oh my God, I thought it wasn't gonna turn on for a second. Yay, it's so pretty. Wow, it's bright. I like it. Okay, the light is up. It's kind of bright, but oh, it's actually really bright. it bright is really bright. bright. We can actually make it dimmer, but I don't have the right battery for the remote. off to the office today. I brought like a protein yogurt today. This is just kind of like my makeshift really quick one. I have some vanilla protein from Orgain. I have some granola and then I have this Oikos yogurt, which is like the berry flavor. So it's actually really good with like vanilla protein, berry yogurt, granola. I love this stuff. So I'm headed off to work. I will see you guys at the end of the day. I don't know if we'll do the sconces today, if I'm being honest, just because like this is Thomas's first week at school and I feel like I just don't want to stress him out that much, but I need his help to do the sconces. So I don't know if we'll do it today, but we'll see. And I kind of think that's like the only thing we really have to do for this apartment right now. Other than that, I just feel like I'm living in it and I feel like pretty as like settled as I could be so early on. It's kind of where we're at right now. We're just gonna turn this into like a life vlog and like a settling in. It's really just the sconces and figuring out what to do with that clothing rack. I have no idea, but yeah. I just wanted to check in with you guys and say hi. I'm just feeling a little bit like not burnt out because it's only been like a month or something, but I just feel like I've been vlogging every single day, every single second, every single move, building every single thing. And I'm just feeling kind of tired of vlogging and I still have like my Tulum vlog to edit but I know you guys love the moving content so so this is definitely going to be the last like moving apartment thing as of right now I just need like a break maybe like a week of no vlogging once this video is done but at least it's motivating me to actually do the sconces random rant but I hope you guys have a good day here's my outfit I love this outfit so much it's so just this shirt is from Amazon. It's literally the best. It comes with so many different colors. I'll link it below for you guys. It is literally so good and I just love the material. It like doesn't really wrinkle that easily, which I love. My blue mom jeans from Abercrombie and then this black tank top from Princess Polly. My Amazon work tote. That's everything. Have a good day. I'll see you guys at the end of the day. I have therapy today too, so I'll see you guys after that. It has actually been like a couple of days since I talked to you guys. I really debated. I was like, should I just make it seem like it's like a couple hours later? But it's been a couple of days. We just honestly like wanted to chill and live and not do this for a couple of days. The apartment feels like pretty done. So we're just like basking in it and finishing our week and everything. And now we're ready. So as you guys know, we have this wardrobe from Ikea. We're just trying to figure out that like the placement of the bed and everything is all set because the sconces need to be centered with the nightstands. So we need to make sure that like the nightstands are in the right place, if that makes sense. So what do you think? And then take out the bottom cabinets because they have wheels. Okay, one, two, three. What do you think? More? Oh, I kind of like it there. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of looks the same to me, actually. Okay, we're testing out how it looks like next to each other. I just feel like it looks like really like, I don't know what other word to say other than like dinky. Like it's just like so small compared to that huge freaking wardrobe. If you're trying to go for the best, I think this is like 
the opposite of that. Oh, no, 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 this is obviously not. I'm just, right now I'm just looking at those two pieces next to each other and seeing. Like, yes, ideally it should go against the corner visually, but then we have the nightstand. But to have one nightstand in this bedroom, like, I think would, would definitely not be best. Like, that would just look, like, even weirder. We put the bed back in the original place. We moved the wardrobe over to the middle. I think it looks better here just because it kind of lines up more with the bed. There's a little bit of space here now if we want to get like shelves or something in the future, but the coat rack is gonna, I think, stay yeah, there probably. True. So we can get like a small shelf or something if we need, Thomas. That's definitely enough room for something. Not that serious. <laughs> 